Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you today how you can migrate Gradle Groovy, which is the default for Android apps, to the Gradle Kotlin DSL variant. So um, there are two versions of Gradle, you can say, um, on the one hand, Groovy, which we know, so that looks like this, and especially here, like this. So yeah, it's, it's a different syntax and there's also a Kotlin variant of Gradle, which looks a lot more like Kotlin code. Um, that makes it more intuitive for us Kotlin developers to also write Gradle code. And it also comes with like improved um, code suggestions, for example, in Gradle. It comes with type safety for all these fields, which Gradle Groovy can't help us here with. But since uh, Gradle Groovy is just the default for Android projects as for now, we need to migrate that manually. Um, so all, both these variants are interoperable. So you can use some Gradle files with Gradle Groovy, some other files with Gradle Kotlin, but I will show you how you can just migrate your whole project, um, just an empty project here to Gradle Kotlin. And we want to start with our um, build of Gradle project file. So just open that up here. And this is the only file that really changes its structure. So um, here we can just uh, kind of translate each um, each block by block because it looks a little bit differently here in Gradle Groovy, uh, the Kotlin DSL, of course. And that's why this will be the only file where I will actually just paste the code that we will migrate to. I will explain what happens here and you will find the code down in this video's description. So you will find a GitHub link where you can simply also copy and paste this. Once you have one project where you set up a basic structure of Gradle Kotlin, then you can easily also set up new projects by simply copy and pasting a bunch of stuff. So I will paste my code here and let's just um, go through this. It looks very similar to Gradle Groovy here. Um, so we just um, use this rather like in Groovy, we had the syntax before it was rather old syntax, which um, Android Studio now changed. But in Kotlin DSL, as, um, as much as I know, we need to specify this build at Gradle project file like this. So here we just um, specify our repositories, basically where our dependencies get fetched from. And here our actual yeah, um, Gradle specific dependencies. So we have our Android Gradle version, which we could upgrade here. And we have our Kotlin Gradle plugin, which we just specify with these class paths here. So if you, for example, use Dagger Hilt, you would also need to add this as a class path here for the Dagger Hilt Gradle plugin. And you can already see a little bit that in Groovy, we actually had a, a syntax rather like this. So we didn't use this um, function invoking style, which we know from Kotlin. Um, in Gradle Kotlin, we do this. But this difference um, between Groovy and Kotlin will get even clearer when we get to migrating our build at Gradle app file. And here, this is just, yeah, another task that uh, needs to be declared here, which is called clean. Clean will basically just um, delete all of our already built files. And after that, we can just, yeah, have a full rebuild of our project without any um, Grail caches or so. However, right now we haven't migrated that to the Kotlin version yet because we still use the same um, name for our Gradle file. And if we want to use a Kotlin Gradle file, we need to rename our Gradle file. We can do this with Shift and F6. And the difference of Kotlin Gradle files is just that we attach a KTS. Then we can press enter. We can then click synchronize now. This will unlikely um, work out now because we haven't migrated our other file yet and we're missing some um, this composed version field, for example, here, uh, but we already made the change with yeah, renaming our Gradle field. And once that sync is finished, we will get a bunch of errors. You can see our Compose UI version is missing and it can't find that here. If we actually change that here to something like 1.2.0 for all of these fields, so we don't make use of this extra field, it should actually synchronize. Um, let's make sure that we don't use that anywhere else. So let's synchronize now um, again. And hopefully we don't get any issues. And nope, we don't get any issues. That's looking quite good. And as you can see, we can now use Gradle Kotlin DSL together with Gradle Groovy. There's always a weird issue I get here. Um, I think there's an Android Studio issue. So there is not really an error here. If you launch your app, it normally builds. 
Um, and I think after invalidating caching uh, and restarting Android Studio, it also disappears, this error message here. But then after a while, it just appears again. I don't know why. Maybe this is um, because I'm using the beta version of Electric Eel. Not sure. If some of you know, then I'd be happy to hear about that. Um, but let's ignore that for now and just jump into our build at Gradle module app file. And also um, press Shift F6 and rename this to build at Gradle KTS. So then we can click do refactor. And after that, we want to actually migrate this file step by step now. Um, so as I said, we will do this here really manually. So you, you just know what the differences are between Groovy and Kotlin, what things you need to migrate. I want to start with the uh, most obvious change or yeah, what you usually start with. And that is that Gradle Kotlin does not use these single quotes. In Groovy, we can use both double quotes and single quotes to um, uh, specify a string. In Groovy, that does not work. So what we can do is we can simply hit um, Control R to search and replace. And we can just search for single quotes and replace them with double quotes. And then click Replace All. And we already migrated our whole file here to double quotes. Then something else we need to migrate is, as I already said in the other file, we now need these function invocations of our different um, fields here. So since this ID is in the end a function, of Gradle, we need to surround this com Android application plugin with parentheses. And if we have like a Kotlin specific plugin like we do have here, then we instead use Kotlin and surround this with parentheses. And since this already says that this refers to org JetBrains Kotlin, we can get rid of that and just say Kotlin Android. Cool, so that is it for migrating this plugins block. Let's go on with the Android block. And here it's quite easy. We just need to treat these fields as real variables. So var fields of Kotlin. So we just say namespace is equal to this. Compile SDK is equal to this. Application ID. Minimum SDK. Target SDK. Version code. Version name. The test instrumentation runner. Here that's equal to true for the vector drawables. And uh, yeah, then we already migrated this default config block, quite, quite simple. Build types here a little bit changes. Um, so we can't directly use the release block anymore. And also we can't directly specify new build types anymore. So if we have like a beta build, then this would not work. Instead, if we have these existing build types, um, like release and debug, we need to actually open this block using get by name. And here we now specify release. And then in here we can configure that. Minify enable is actually called differently in uh, Gradle Kotlin. That is actually called is minify enabled. And we can set that to false or to true, whatever we want. So whether we want to use our aid or not. Now let's actually synchronize this. We will get a bunch of errors because um, this is ob obviously not finished uh, migrating, but I hope that I get some suggestions. So now Proguard files, how do we migrate that? That is in, uh, in the end just a function, which you can again call like this and just surround this with parentheses. That should already be enough. Um, compile options, here we can also just add some equal signs. Kotlin options already looks good. Compose is equal to true. The Kotlin compiler extension version is equal to true. Um, here for the package uh, packaging options, we can't um, uh, use this syntax. Instead, we just use exclude just as a function. So we say like this. So we exclude this um, certain file. And yeah, now the last part is migrating our dependencies. And then we're already done. Um, and this is really nothing special. Uh, so we just need to also surround all these dependencies with parentheses. So um, w one thing we could do is we could just select all that, again, hit Control R, and we now want to search for space quotation mark, and we replace this with an opening parentheses. And then if we hit replace all, we already have all these opening parentheses. And if we then simply search for quotation marks again, we can simply uh, replace these with um, closing parentheses. Replace all. And we now forgot all these um, semicolons, uh, not semicolons, uh, quotation marks, of course. 
let's redo this um, or undo this rather instead of this. So space quotation mark, we want to replace it with an opening parentheses and a quotation mark. And that way it will work. So like this, we select this stuff again and we want to search for quotation marks and we want to replace it with a quotation mark and a closing parenthesis like this. And now we successfully hopefully migrated this to Gradle Kotlin. Let's click try again. Oh, and no, we didn't <laughs> um, because it also replaced these. Let's just replace these manually. I messed this up. <laughs> I won't cut this out here. Um, not everything is always going right, but now synchronize again and then it should also know these dependencies. Yes, no more errors, um, except for this issue we had before. Um, but if we now actually yeah, try to launch this, or so let me connect my device first, then click run and yeah, now Grail will obviously just start building hopefully without any more issues. Yep, it's launching the app on my device. That is looking quite nice. Um, and again, I have no idea why all these errors are happening here. It looks like an Android Studio issue. It's definitely not a Gradle issue. And if these weren't here, then you would also get all these um, cool benefits of Kotlin Gradle. It's a little bit unlucky that this happens right now. Um, but yeah, um, usually, this doesn't happen if you have a stable version of Android Studio, at least in my experience. And of course, after you have this template, so you have one project with a, such a default config here for Gradle Kotlin, you can just always take these files, paste them in a new project, and boom, you are using Kotlin Gradle for Android, which is quite nice. And yeah, I personally, I prefer that. I enjoy it more. If I just have a project where I don't have a lot of Gradle specific code, I usually just leave it at Groovy because I don't deal with Gradle a lot. But if there's like um, some custom tasks I need to write and just some custom Gradle code, then migrating that to Kotlin DSL first makes a lot of sense. So I hope you enjoyed this. In case you are interested in more advanced Android premium courses, then you will definitely love my courses on my website, which just go much more into detail. And yeah, they will just take you from an intermediate Android developer to a professional industry ready Android developer who is ready for a job. If that sounds good to you, check the first link in this video's description. Apart from that, I wish you an excellent rest of the week. See you back in the next video. Bye bye.